so guys welcome everyone welcome to sadaiva classes next we are going to learn about a lesson and the name of the lesson is the merchant of venice venice merchant of venice let's see guys what is the story about so venice is what it is a store it is a prosperous city in italy so there was an antonio antonio who was there there was an antonio was a merchant he was a merchant who lived in venice where is venice it is in italy and it is a prosperous city in italy in those days that is about 500 years ago sea voyages were dangerous sea voyages were dangerous and yet some adventurous merchants traveled across the sea some others spent a lot of money in sending ships to far away countries this ships bought back spices and other treasures from india and other countries the merchants sold these things in europe and they made a lot of profit they made a lot of profit in this business they made a lot of profit in this business now at the time when story begins at the time when the story begins there was an antonio was waiting for his ships to return antonio was waiting for his ships to return with merchandise he had put almost all his money in the in the ships in the ships he had put all the money so antonio was he was a very kind man he was a kind man he had many friends he had many friends but his best friend who was his best friend was bazanio who was he was a bazanio best friend was bazanio now this bazanio was a young and very handsome noble man but unfortunately he had no money he was handsome he was young and he was a very good noble he was a noble man but he had no money then bazanio wanted to marry portia he wanted to marry portia so who was portia portia was beautiful and intelligent she was beautiful and intelligent and she was the only daughter of a very wealthy man she was only daughter of a very wealthy man her father had died leaving her a huge large sorry leaving her a large estate in his will who the father whose father portia's father in his will portia's father had written how portia's husband should be selected he had uh, he had set a test for her suitors they had to choose between three caskets they had to choose between three caskets or caskets see you can see these three caskets here one of gold another of silver and another of lead okay so there was uh, like a swayamvar see this type of uh, things were there <coughs> sorry each casket had something written on it each casket had something written on it yes on the gold casket it was written whoever chooses me shall gain what many men desire on the silver casket whoever chooses me shall get as much as he deserves on the casket of lead what was written whoever chooses me must give an hazard all he has one of the persia suitors was prince of morocco he was a prince of morocco he chose the gold casket he chose the gold casket but when he opened the casket the message inside said that it was not the right casket all that glitter is not gold it was written on that casket that all that glitter is not gold another suitor was he was a prince of aragon he was the prince of aragon he chose the silver casket but that was to not the right casket now bazonio wanted to try his luck he wanted to try his luck who bazonio but he had no money right so bazonio wanted to try his luck with the caskets so to do that he had to travel to belmont where portia lived on her estate so it was a far away from where the bezonio was living he needed money for that purpose he needed money for that when antonio came to know this he wanted to help 
okay when antonio came to know that he need money he needs money for the uh, for going to belmont and trying his luck for the osia he told bezonio to borrow money in his that is antonio's name they went to where they went to shylock they went to shylock they went to shylock who was shylock he was a jewish money lender and asked him for the money shylock had a lot of money but he was not all generous money was all that he cared for he did not like antonio because antonio sometimes lent people money without charging any interest on it and interest for it so shylock decided to take advantage of this situation he gave them the money on a strange condition if antonio failed to return the money within 3 months shylock would cut off a pound of antonio's flesh antonio agreed to this and borrowed the money for bezanio that was a very strange condition he has put bezanio went to belmont when he saw the casket he chose the lead one and that was the right casket but Bez, uh, and bezanio won porcia's hand by choosing it porcia too was glad to marry bezanio in the meanwhile what happened shylock heard antonio had lost his ship he was very happy that antonio would not be able to pay the money and he took antonio to where in the coach yes see like this so he took him to the court and demanded that sir i was not okay <clears throat> sorry and demanded that he fulfill the strange and cruel condition the duke liked antonio and was sorry for him but what could he do antonio had returned a bond to shylock and according to the law shylock was right when bezonio and porcia heard all this they rushed back to venice porcia told bezonio to pay shylock twice the amount to save Bez- antonio but shylock was a demand he was a demand he demanded only a pound of flesh he demanded only a pound of flesh antonio's flesh everyone in the court including the duke felt that shylock demand was inhuman the duke asked shylock to show mercy towards antonio to show mercy towards antonio but shylock was not ready to do so he felt that antonio and others had treated him badly before and he wanted to take a revenge he wanted revenge just then a young lawyer entered the court he said that he would fight antonio's case okay he would find antonio's case he asked antonio whether he had agreed to shylock's condition antonio said yes yes he had agreed he had agreed then next what let's see here okay come here then the law then the young lawyer requested shylock to show mercy though the lawyer was on shylock's side the lawyer pleaded that the mercy is a good quality is a quality of good god himself when a person shows mercy to someone else they are both blessed they are both blessed so she or he wanted to change the mind of shylock mercy was more valuable than king's crown but all this had no effect on shylock the young lawyer then said that law allowed shylock to take a pound of flesh and he could do that at the at the same time at the same time let's see at the same time the lawyer warned that while cutting of the flesh shylock should not shed even one drop of antonio's blood and he should cut exactly one pound of flesh nothing less nothing more that was very clever uh, talking the lawyer had asked 
they would not be allowed by the that would not be allowed by the law see this is a lawyer and actually she was a poshia shalok realized that he could not do that the what the young lawyer was lawyer asked him to do and accepted his defeat antonio was very was saved who was the young lawyer yes so bazonio and antonio found out later that it was none other than poshia herself dressed as a young man later it was learned that antonio ships were safe and so he had not in fact lost his money thus the story which would have ended in a tragic manner ended very happily ended very happily so that was about the story it was very interesting story guys